Hi and welcome to Digital Forest. Before we begin this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get all the future updates regarding upcoming video lessons and tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will create a responsive slider, a multi-layer slider using a script called Owl Carousel. The end results would look something similar to this. You will be able to navigate through different slides and there will be text, a different text for each slider. So we will modify this section of our website. Like this is our example website. You can download this free theme. Uh, I'll paste the link of this theme in the description of this video. So what we'll do, like we will modify it. To initiate, first we'll go to the official website of All Carousel. From here, you can download the distribution. We need to extract the core CSS and JavaScript file of the script within our example directory. Next, we need to include the CSS and JavaScript of the distribution with our current example website. So we'll modify the index.html of our theme to incl include these two files, owl.cruzzle.css and owl.cruzzle.js. So once done properly, you'll be able to inspect and preview these two files within the sources tab next we will copy these example images which we are going to use for our slider to the image img directory of our script we will create a new subfolder within the img folder and we will name it slider we place all the images here and then we will link these images uh, within our index.html file. Next we will head out to the demo of our carousel. We need to copy the exact HTML structure of the demo which we are going to copy from that script. We will replace these items with the three slider images which we are going to create. Later we are gonna add some text to these items. So there will be a multi-layer slider. You can uh, inspect to preview that the images are loading. But we need to copy this script within our creative.js file we will reduce the margin and we will check it again now there is a slight bug so we need to load script before our main javascript file yeah it's loading fine but it's showing uh, all items at once so we need to show only one item at a time so we'll change this value here yeah next we will modify the appearance of the slider like we will reduce the height from top we will adjust some other settings so you can follow uh, this video like how I'm modifying the CSS to achieve the desired outlook you can modify it as per your own requirements you can enter different values here so it doesn't matter
next we need to make the navigation of our slider visible like there will be there will be two buttons added to this slider the next and the previous button so users can navigate to or all slides so let's do that Next, uh, we would like to add some text to our slider. So, whenever we are navigating to the next slide, there will be some text visible, a different text for each slide. So, what we'll do, like we will add another layer of text within our slide items. Then, later, we will stylize the text to match the desired outlook. Once done, we will assign some transitions to the text. So you can stylize the text as per your own custom requirements. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, I will slightly modify the color appearance of the heading and secondary text.
That's it. I think we have a good slider ready to be implemented. So you can just implement uh, this slider within your own website, or you can modify it slightly as per your own custom requirements. You can also add this slider if your WordPress, if your website is based upon WordPress, Joomla, Config 5, or any other CMS. In case if you have any questions or concerns you can ask me within the comment section of this video.